Hello everybody, today we are going to talk how to open, close and write to file. But remember, we'll do it the simple way, so we'll just know how to open it, how to write to it and how to close it. We'll not talk about advanced topics like for example appending to the file, opening is the binary file and other things like that. We just want to simplify that so we can learn it step by step. Okay, so we want to learn about the library, which is called file stream. So F stream stands for file stream. So it is operating on file. And it is really, really similar to the input output stream. This time we will treat the file as an input or as an output. Well, we'll decide how we want to um, treat that file. Firstly, we need to create an object, object that will uh, have inside the file that we want to treat, that we want to operate on. So let's create the object. So we will type fstream and my file handler. So this is uh, the place where we will save, where we will uh, have our file. And because we are using here the fstream class, this object has got lots of methods, lots of functions that we can use here right now and we can operate on that file that will be opened here, right? So let's open it, my file handler, and as you can guess, there is a method that can open the file. Here we can type the name of the file, so for example, test uh, txt and uh, right now we should be able to open the file test uh, test file and there is a problem because here as we can see there is no file like that and because of it we won't be able to open it because it's not here right <laughs> so we should create it and here we we are doing it it's created right now sorry that here is a polish version version of this Windows, but well, you know how to create the file for sure. So we are creating the file. Uh, okay, so it's uh, now here we are opening it, the file that is already created, and now we can do some things with it. Well, look, uh, that file right now that is opened here um, is really the output, right? It is the destination of the things that we can put there, right? Or we can, for example, get something from inside. So for example, we could have some things here and we would like right to retrieve it, extract it. Right now, in this lesson, let's just put something inside there. So let's make it as an output. Look, when we have something like C out, so the character output, we are moving something there, right? And here it is no different. Right now we are moving something to the my file handler, and for example, it, this is a same a sample text, right? So we are moving it here. We could also do something like that, that here. So it is really very similar thing. Okay, so we are moving this text here, and now we should also close the file. Why should we close the file? Well, you know, firstly, you could use the my file handler to open other files. Secondly, now we are f making um, f our resources, memory resources and other things like that, free. Um, we are not operating on the file anymore, so we are making it free. Uh, we can work on other things like that. Uh, so it is good for our program, right? For the health of our program, for health of our computer and other things like that. And so we are freeing here our memory and we are allowing us to use the my file handler more than once, right? So we are closing the file and right now we can compile it and run. And as we can see, when we open the file, here we have this, this is, this is some sample text, right? So we just, uh, we've just written that thing inside. So it works perfectly. We can also, for example, check if the file has been opened properly. So for example, my file handler, and here is a function is open. So if 
then you can put this inside and you can close the file. Otherwise, don't do it, right? So, so something like that. And as we can see, for example, when we do something like that, and here we are. The file has been opened properly. Something like that. Now it's not working, but when we use the name file that uh, that we created, as you can see, the file has been opened properly, and of course, it is working fine. We can also notice that we can put something at this uh, sample text, for example. So we add the A here, which was missing, and when we run it. You can see that it is added, but uh, look, we are creating the file from the beginning, as you can see, we are not adding at the end. And to make things like that, to add new text, not removing everything, uh, we need to open the file in some kind of mode. And we'll talk about these modes uh, in other lessons. We also talk how to extract things from that. Right now, in this lesson, as you can see, we uh, treated our file as what? As a uh, output right as the place where we can put things inside okay thank you very much